Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode on Glen Latan. As you remember in the previous episode we managed to start work on our grass fields and finished baling uh, the grass in the field over here and now we need to silage wrap them. So that will be the first thing we do in this episode. It's going to take some time because our silage wrapper it's not that fast but uh, i think it will be good so let's uh, start this and i'll come back to you when we go to the next job grass bales are now wrapped this is the the last one that we are doing i'm going to put it down just here on the entrance of the field and now we can move to the other grass fields to prepare the hay and the first job uh, we need to do is test the grass uh, we finished the mowing on on that field last time so now it's just the Tedding, uh, raking, and then baling in the grass. Let's put this uh, wrapper back in in the shed. And stay here. And now let's get the tether and get the move on. We need to, in the future, also we need to upgrade this tether, it's a very small one. Uh, I don't think we have anything in the sale right now, tether-wise. We have a baler. But it does the same thing our baler does, so it doesn't help us. And we have a, a rake, a big one, but it's too expensive, 31,000. We don't have that kind of money right now, even if we sell our uh, old rake. So let's start from this end, we have to do row by row because 
like I said, our uh, tether it's a small one. But I'm going to come back to you when the reeking, the tethering is done. Tedding is now done. Let's go put this implement back in the shed and get the get the rake and uh, get them move on raking the field. Uh, I haven't told you guys, but uh, I installed the mod and I'm going to use it in both of my let's plays. This and on Arma as well. It's called Vehicle Control Add-on. Uh, basically, it's a mod that works more or less the same as guidance steering does but it does even more than guidance steering i like it, uh, i like it better and it also doesn't require to be installed on the machines tractors uh, harvesters doesn't matter uh, and it's from my point of view at least and again this is my point of view it's easier to use so I'm going to to use it from now on on both of my series, let's say. And uh, basically how it works, well, you position yourself, I don't know, like this. Uh, you measure the height of your tool and the uh, lines appear like they do... Uh, on GPS and you can move the orientation and now I think we are set completely straight and if we move forward uh, our steering will be done automatically we don't have to do anything and we can go straight basically that's why I'm using it uh, if you steer left or right you will deactivate, deactivate it which is not a problem uh, it also flips, should flip at least 90 degrees, I need to check the settings because I didn't activate it, yes, you have lane guidance every 19 degrees, if you put this on, see it moves 90 degrees and you can move the course and do it the other way around, which I will not do right now. And if we activate it again, see we are not perfectly straight this should be more or less straight and we can activate it right now and see we can get onto the right direction so let's start the time lapse because i'm not going to do this like it takes some time and i will get back to you actually after the bailing of the hay is done <laughs>
Okay, everyone. So the raking and the baling of the hay is now finished. Uh, before we move to September, we also need to roll these two grass fields so we can improve the fertilizing uh, state of it. But to be able to have enough space to roll the fields, we need to pick up the bales and put them in storage. I don't know if the wrapped bales, if I put them in storage like they are without letting, letting them finish fermenting, will still convert to silage, but we'll, we will have to see. Right now I'm going to collect the bales off camera and I will see you back here when we start the rolling. I'm back. So right now all the bales are collected and in storage, but also we, as you can see, we are losing the light fast. So let's get a move on with uh, this grass rolling and uh, I will see you back in the in the morning. Good morning, as you saw we managed to finish the rolling before it went completely dark last night and now the grass fields are fully fertilized and we are now in September and our barley field is ready to harvest and I think this will be the last job that we are going to do in this episode. I'm going to do the harvest myself, I was thinking initially to hire a worker but no, I'm gonna do it myself and we'll see how much barley we will manage to collect from this field. I hope it will be a good amount so we can maybe sell it and uh, pay back the, the loan. So let's get to the field. Our harvester is not that big but it will do the job. Uh, I will also leave uh, the sod on the ground and next episode we can uh, bale it and store it because we are going to need some more uh, straw for the, for the cows. Uh, I'm also thinking about maybe selling some of the silage bales to make some money. I haven't fully decided yet but could be it could be an option uh, we'll see how many we have or maybe we can do a silage contract and uh, sell the bales from from the contract I haven't decided uh, I haven't decided yet so let's get going uh, with this harvest 
I'm going to do probably two laps around the headland and uh, then go up and down the up and down the field. I don't know what I pressed, I did something and uh, managed to uh, drop off the header and you saw we destroyed a little bit of the top, but it's not a problem. So let's see how much barley we are going to get from this field. Okay everyone, so we are going to empty what we have in the combine harvester right now and then I will put the combine on a worker while I go to the sell point and uh, sell the barley. I took, uh, uh, I took a look in the menu and saw that the price for barley is very good right now so we are going to sell it straight from the field. Uh, what do you reckon? Will we make enough money to pay back the loan? I hope so. So let the worker continue and uh, let's go in the tractor and go sell this. Uh, I don't remember where the best price is. is the best price is, is or so uh, If we look in this menu here, we see the best prices in September. 868 eight, and now at the grain mill it's 911 even 912 so we are going to go to the grain mill which is here in the place we have been a lot of times at and uh, let's go there and sell the barley and see how much we get I reckon from this field we are going to get about three trailer loads more or less so if we are going to make around 10,000 per load, should be almost 
enough to uh, repay the loan. So let's see. Barley harvest is done. This is the last load. I mean, half a load. It's not a full load. Let's go and also sell this one. Uh, I'll see at the sell point and let's see how much money we end up in total. We are here. Let's see how much we make for this last load. Uh, almost 6k. Uh, we are. Or we have almost enough money to pay the loan. We have a $50,000 loan. Uh, I will end this episode here and I will decide until next time whether uh, if we are going to use the money to pay up the loan or maybe borrow some more money and uh, maybe buy another field. We need 
less than 10k to let's say a Ford Field 29 over here, which is very close to to our farm and it's also ready to harvest. So I will decide until next time what we are going to do with it, about it. So I hope you are still enjoying this series. If you do, please press the like button. If you want to watch more of my videos, please subscribe to the channel. And in the end, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.